Days after a Virginia Beach hairstylist was arrested for murder, clients were still showing up on Nancy Copeland's doorstep. A judge certified charges against her today. Prosecutors say she killed David Gonzalez back in 2017. 13 News Now was there when the police tape went up outside of Copeland's home on Westminster Lane. Stephen Graves has been following this story since it broke. He joins us now live with new developments. Yeah, David Regina, today we heard arguments over if this was an intentional killing, but we also got our hands on new documents that say this flash of violence may have been over rent money. In plain clothes, Nancy Copeland faces a judge. She's out on bond, a rare sight considering she's fighting a second degree murder charge. That actually says a lot about my client. That's Copeland's defense. She claims her client is and was no threat and is no way responsible for the death of David Gonzalez, her former roommate. Ms. Copeland will not be held responsible for this death. That fateful December night on Westminster Lane in Virginia Beach, a newly unsealed search warrant says Copeland and Gonzalez were arguing over rent. It says the hairstylist went to get the money, but returned with a gun opening fire. An autopsy says the 59 year old died from a single gunshot wound to the neck. Paperwork says police found more guns, ammo and holsters, narcotics even in the home. The defense says the two had a history that Gonzalez may have had a gun, saying he had a history of verbal abuse to Copeland. It's more complicated than the one-sided account that you heard at prelim today. But prosecutors say it's simple. Copeland pointed the gun and shot. Gonzalez was defenseless. Proof, a medical examiner's testimony over gunshot residue that they say backs it all up. In the end, the judge certified that murder charge. And prosecutors also played a phone call Copeland made to her dad after the shooting. It explained how she said the shooting was an accident. Now, prosecutors say that was all a cover-up. The case now heads to a grand jury. Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.